welcome to a uh, Why So Serious special, which will be a retrospective of the four previous Twilight movies and a review of the just released fifth Twilight movie. As uh, Brown House. This is Rory Cashin. And we uh, we don't we don't really like the Twilight films, so we still <laughs> no, we don't. No. Stephanie Meyer. Bitch. Mormon woman pushing her agenda through tweeny emo books. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right, so the first one was... Twilight. Twilight. He did the monster match. The monster match. There's a lot of, there's a lot of this. No. And, no. And... <sighs> yeah, there's like two hours of that. Yeah. <laughs> and then... So, the first Twilight film, for me, is actually the best one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's the one that least offends me. Um, That's ruined Catherine Hardwick's directing career, though. Yeah, absolutely killed it. She was kind of killed before that. She did Sordine, which is really good, and yeah. she did Lords of was it Doctor, Doctor? and that was really good. And then she did this, and it was not it was not good. And mm. since then, she's done Red Riding Hood, which, which was really terrible. Good. And she hasn't done anything since then. Twilight Curse had begun. Yeah, Kirsten Stewart and Robert Pattinson kind of set up their characters for the whole franchise and they don't really change from the whole sparkly vampire looking off moodily into the middle distance and moochie girl going <laughs> for the whole thing. Yeah. But it was better than it should have been, but not as good as a good film could be. So out of ten for Twilight. The first one. Um five. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Not a fantastic movie, but the best of the franchise. For me anyway. So then we move on to New Moon. The world is a vampire. New Moon. New Moon. <laughs> and this is the one where uh, Robert Patterson uh, is not in it for like 90% because he's like, I'm too in love with you. And you've got a paper cut and she and gets I, a paper cut and all the vampires yeah, die for her and it's, it's like, it's not safe for you to be around me so I'm going. Yeah, and he, he fucks off to, to Italy, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. With the intention of showing the world that he's a vampire and then he has to get killed by the vampire lead it's called the Volturi. Yeah, because he can't be with Bella. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very elaborate way of And she's all like, ah, I miss him so much. And she's, she comes crazy. She starts like driving motorcycles really quickly, so you know she's like on the edge. Yeah. Calm down! But she doesn't Bitch, please, down. you're crazy! Who directed this one? I don't know. Christopher Weiss. Oh, shit. Well, what has he done since then? The, the other American one, maybe, probably. Yeah, probably. So he's done fuck all good since then either. The Twilight's director curse continues. Yeah, New Moon is very fucking teen angsty. The, when Edward leaves, Bella sits in her room with like moody emo music playing over her <gasps> grieving for how long? About four months? They say so it the, takes ru- the rule of halves does not apply here. No, it doesn't. When, it, when it's vampires, it's the rule of 500%. Out of 10? Four. Yeah, like three or four. Yeah. yeah. Well, I used to think, what, what I actually still do think is the best film of the series is... Eclipse. Eclipse. Um, <clears throat> directed by David Slade, who did 30 Days a Night. Yeah. And something else that I've forgotten. Hard Candy. Yeah. Um, and has since then done nothing good. Nope. Nothing at all. No. There's that awkward kind of love triangle thing in the snow in the woods looking moody and oh you know I have to choose between us no I'm just gonna kiss both of you and it's gonna be fine Slut. yeah yeah she should have gone for both yeah it's a modern day age lady yeah. your woman in savages had two boyfriends she could have had two boyfriends that would actually be more interesting <laughs> yeah it would have some hot three-way action not a lot of kids would have got to see the film though no they would not <laughs> that would have been really funny if like all of a sudden like Eclipse was like this 18s and it was this like hardcore three way scene. <laughs> I would have gone to see that like a million times. Just to see Bella like, well, what's going on? I've been killed by a vampire and a werewolf. In bed. And then they kill her and go off together? Because that's pretty much what That's, that's fan fiction, that's slash fiction that you've just written. Oh god. I'm going to have the next 50 Shades of Grey, aren't I? You knew me when. You fucking knew me when. Where were we? <laughs> Dale Lorner is oddly hairless for a man who turns into a werewolf, by the way. Maybe it all retracts when he becomes a werewolf. That's like crazy. when he, when he goes into being human. Just takes all of the hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, there's an interesting choice made in order to keep the films from being like a higher rating, higher classification, in that when vampires are killed, they kind of shatter rather than, you know, blood and gore everywhere. Um, which, depending on kind of which vampire mythology you're a fan of, it will work for you or, or it won't work for you. It didn't work for me. I thought it was like pandering to the classifications ratings. It looked kind of okay, but... I don't know if they died that way in the books, though. They don't. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. There you go. Uh, David Slade, I think, did the best job that he possibly could have. He did have experience within the vampire genre, but I think he was really... His hands were tied by a terrible script. Yeah. And I think that's the problem with the Twilight series. Yeah. So, a 10 for... See, this one, I would give this one a 6. Really? This is my favourite one. Really? Yeah. No, it's just dropping down in the ratings for me. Three. Ooh. Now, for the start of the end. Breaking Dawn Part 1. This is the end. In my opinion, it was the worst film of the five. It was so insanely dull. Really dull. Um, they did a whole Harry Potter, Deathly Hollows thing where they're like, let's cut the last book into two films. Which was and leave the dull yeah. stuff for the first one. So people have to go see the second one because that's where all the action is. It was completely uh, unnecessary to split the story. Yeah. Having now seen the second one, it was completely unnecessary. But that's, yeah. a, that's a discussion for the next film. <laughs> Um, Edward and Bella finally get married. Yep. And uh, he uh, gets what he he wants. He gets, gets to home. marry her. Yeah, he gets no. He gets to marry her. Then he wants to marry her, and uh, she gets. Rose. She gets what she wants. She gets her home. Oh right. Yeah. Well, yeah, someone gets. That's what home. she's wanting. Yeah, and then and then they bone and he wrecks their bedroom and all up in here. And you? what? No, I was being Bella. Where? For that, because I did the boobs. You didn't have the all up in here. You didn't. Well, she was getting rowed. She's not going to point her lip. She probably was, now, in fairness. That's all she does. Getting off topic. <laughs> so, yes, and then she's unconscious and then she wakes up and she's preggers. And not just, like, you know, two hours pregnant. She's, like, showing. And yeah. Yeah, and the baby's only it's not possible. booting the ribs out of her. Yeah. And she, everyone's like, she's not going to make it. She's going to die from the pregnancy. And she's like, turn me into a vampire. And he's like, no. Nah. It's definitely for the fans of the franchise because you just get to see Bella and Edward being together and being happy. And, you know, none of the angst that's tearing them apart for once. No one's after, no one's trying to kill Bella, which is kind of nice for her. No, except, except for, for the baby. The baby, yeah. It's trying to kill her. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh... I don't really have a lot to say about this one because I actually really don't dull. remember that well. It's really dull, really dull, these people just sit around and talk. Yeah. She just looks sick for the whole time. Yeah, they just put a little bit of dark eyeshadow under her eyes and oh no, if you well. <laughs> So, break it down part two. It's just released in cinemas. And while it's not the best film, if you go in completely blind from the other four films having not nothing and just watch this, you'll just assume there's some kind of crazy David Lynch film is happening with nothing makes sense and there's no reason or rhyme to anything and even if you have watched the other four films which we have mm. there's still moments in this film where you're like why is that a thing <laughs> why why is that happening now i'd quite like to see david lynch have directed one of the twilight films because it would have been really 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 funny it would have been and i mean he probably would have like found a certain kind of sense in it yeah as yeah. opposed to just like trying to adapt the, f the book straight and be like yeah I don't understand what's going on and they have their big showdown in a nice snowy glade Brian spo spoiler mm -hmm. right yeah. leave it here until we're done yeah. until I take it down the big snowy glade fight never happens doesn't happen like you it's, see it it's it's the Dallas episode yeah. The dream sequence. Yeah. The essay you wrote in third class, you're like, and it was all a dream. Yeah. Basically, like Bobby Ewing, Michael Sheen is in the shower the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you haven't watched Dallas, it was, it was not real. The vampire who can make people see visions shows it to Michael Sheen, and you know, fifteen minutes. It's of awesome. Only properly good scene. Of five films, you're like, yeah, the people are getting killed all over the place. <laughs> like, like, 
Carlisle dies. 40 Dak- decapitations. Dakota Fanning dies. Maggie Grace dies. And then Michael Sheen dies and you're just like, yeah! Okay. Oh no, wait, it's not real. It's not real. Yeah. It's complete letdown. Take that away. Take that, Shut up. Take that away. No spoiler. So... Honestly, there's close-up of Michael Sheen's face and it's just... Cracks. It's It looks nothing. like grouting yeah. on his face. <laughs> it does. Um, once again, Edward is sidelined in this film. Doesn't really have a whole lot to do. No. Um, Jacob just takes his top off. and then Really awkwardly. Yeah, for the flick. Bella's hey, dad. Hey, I'm going to show you I something. I have to do this. I'm good. No, I have to show you something. Takes off his top and starts unbuttoning his jeans. Dude, really? Did she probably tell us that I would have paid it, like, I took my gun out because I'm a police officer. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. Really cringy, cliche and Irish rap person. Um, with like, re- re- like red hair, the woman has red hair and she's fat and the uh, the, uh, the guy has one of those... Flat caps and an yeah, orange jumper. And just terrible accents. You, I don't believe they actually wear Irish. And if they wear the, they're from a part of Ireland where the accents are like, it's like cliche island. But just all the coast of Galway. All of the accents in the film are really bad. Like the Russian vampires are like Vlado. I'm a Russian vampire. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Russian vampire. Wow. Funniest film for me of the year and um, one of the funniest <laughs> parts was um, a journalist colleague repeatedly bashing her head with a notebook so <laughs> through the film you could just hear punk. It was, it was like audible face palms. <laughs> um yeah. Um, it's yeah. one of the most entertaining films I've seen this year, probably for all the wrong reasons, but yeah. still really enjoyed it. Out of ten. One. Five-ish. For me. Yeah, we're done professionally. I'm fine with that. So, I'll be back for November. She'll be gone forever. That has been a Twilight retrospective and review stuff. Yeah, Twihards, we're really sorry. We understand that you really like the series and everything else, but we just don't. It's no Harry Potter. So, if you want to leave us abusive comments, that's fine, but we're probably not going to take them to heart. So. So. Brian Hayes. Murray Cashin. It's been Twilight. Brian Lloyd. Mary Burke. Yay! It's been the series in the morning.